Now, folks, step right this way to the bigger, better, more exciting show you've ever seen. And plenty of time to see it all. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up for the Geek Show. You won't see people with thick glasses solving mathematical equations, but you will see the shadow self of humanity played out by the original geeks. Back in the day, the word geek referred to people operating outside the mainstream, usually as circus performers. Maybe they had an unusual trait, like a woman with a downy beard, or they weren't afraid to bite the head off of a chicken, much to the audience's grotesque delight. Or perhaps they cultivated a particular niche skill, like sword swallowing. We're talking about using the upper GI tract as a sheath to insert a sword anywhere from 15 inches 38 centimeters long to the maximum 24 inches 61 centimeters long, as ordained by the Sword Swallowers Association International. But how does a sword swallower do it? without suffering grievous injury, slowly and methodically with deliberate relaxation of the upper GI tract. First, the performer hyperextends the neck to create a straight shoot between the esophagus and the pharynx. The tongue is pushed aside and the throat is relaxed. Then, as the blade passes by the teeth and eases into the upper esophageal sphincter, it's coated in saliva, which helps to lubricate the sword on its journey deeper into the esophagus, where the blade straightens out the fleshy tube, sometimes even nudging organs out of the way as it passes by. And the whole time, the sword swallower must possess exquisite control over the muscles lining the esophagus, essentially shutting down messages from nerve endings and any panic signals that the body has in place for its survival, like the gag reflex. Not only that, the performer has to figure out if he or she has the kind of lower esophagus that curves as it meets the stomach or a straighter path to determine how far the blade can plunge into the depths of a digestive tract. So why do it? To amaze? To delight? To get paid? Sure, but there's a kind of danger to it that plays into the idea of the shadow self, a second self that we inhabit when we explore the outer limits of our mental and physical boundaries. Let's face it, you may or may not be a modern day circus performer, a competitive eater, or someone who likes to prancercise, but deep down you're some kind of geek. Welcome to the human tribe, a tribe seven billion geeks strong and counting. One of us, one of us. So who's your favorite geek? The bearded lady, the strong man, or the guy who bites the heads off the chickens? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.